Hello and good morning from Gangtok. Yay! And what a perfect morning to start then with the breakfast with the roll. Then from this place, it's called Mama's Kitchen, and the food is. <laughs> mm. Mm hmm. The food is amazing. These rolls are to die for. Gigi, you wanna try your roll? This is not actually my roll, guys. It's a display. It's your roll. It's two rolls for Michael. I took something else. But roll. It's your roll, Gigi. <laughs> now it's yours. I gave it to you, now it's yours. How is it? It's warm and it's tasty. It has a lot of vegetables. Yes. This is a veg place. So yes. And me, who I'm a meat lover, surprisingly, I like the vegetarian food here. So, yay for this. This is the perfect breakfast. We roll in the morning and then ready for exploring the whole city of Lanko. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Gigi? Mm -hmm. Good? Good idea. Good idea, man. Mama's kitchen. Come here. Eat. It's like your mother's house. Except my mother doesn't make rolls, but well, if she would make them, they would look like this. Hey, the food was very good. I enjoyed it and it was also very cheap. I mean, it was 220 rupees only and I told Gigi that uh, you know the food is good when the policeman is also coming to eat there you know mm -hmm. yes. there was a policeman and when he, he, when he heard Michael saying this thing he was like mm. oh thank you thank you thank you yes so now that we had our food we are on the famous uh, MG road which is called like that because of Mahatma Gandhi the biggest Indian personality in the world if you don't know about him, then you're living under a rock. You should know about him. At least you should know about Salman Khan, right? Yeah, yeah. if you don't know about Mahatma Gandhi, you should know about Salman Khan, yes. So far I can tell that Gangtok is a modern and vibrant city. Honestly, I didn't expect this. Because when I was thinking about Sikkim, I was thinking about small villages scattered in the mountains and cute uh, Tibetan people and yaks and this kind of things. But I guess that this is more up north towards the Kanchenjunga mountain which Gigi actually had a chance to see in this morning at 6 o'clock. This guys is our morning view from here from Gangtok and uh, it looks really really cool. It's 6 a.m. in the morning and there's already some people. You see nothing unnatural, nothing unnatural here. Nothing unnatural until you zoom in on this. What is that? What is that? What is that? Our first view of um, Panjinjunga. If there is something about Gangkok that I love, it's the fact that there are stairs everywhere. And coincidentally, this is what Gigi actually hates because stairs are her worst enemy. Why? They're my kryptonite. Why? Because I get out of breath. I don't know. I don't like stairs. And just look at it. Yesterday I had to go like up the stairs with my big backpack on and that was like, uh. I did the same thing, but... I did what it is, then let's go. Okay, let's go. Three hours later. Three days later. Gigi, look at what I found for you to cheer you up after climbing all those stairs. Come with me. I want you. I want you. You are the cutest one. You are hiding. Why are you hiding? Okay, enough pestering the puppies and tormenting them. We should continue. Exploring the more modern and more new, I would say, side of Gangtok. We came all the way up the hill 
near the chief minister's office building house secretariat type place on all these stairs on all you. these stairs yes and all these stairs and steep ways up to come to this place Top. check out this gate and we will go inside and we will see the amazing and beautiful palace of the former king of Sikkim and also the monastery which is next to this palace I wanted to say that it's funny that, that before you started climbing the stairs you had all your clothes on and now I, when you arrived at the top you took all your clothes off <laughs> almost almost and, uh, beautiful gate and did you see on the gate there was like the deer that's the specific thing for buddhism this is the buddhist symbol and uh, oh wow oh wow okay let me take in the place <laughs> This Tsukna Gang uh, monastery and palace, uh, this is actually the monastery, the palace is a little bit behind me. Uh, the monastery was built in the 1898 uh, by the king of, uh, of Sikkim and uh, here was the royal monastery. So here is where all the processions were happening for the royal family, like the deaths, the burials, the marriages. So this is a very, very important temple here in uh, Gangtok. And um, as you can see, it has a lot of Tibetan uh, tradition and it's very similar to something we saw in Tibet itself. So this place, as you can see inside, you, you have various uh, statues, including the one of Buddha. And um, daily they're worshipping um, hours that are going on here. Tourists are welcome. And this place has a very interesting history about a queen and queen of um, Sikkim that uh, once was a kingdom and uh, was somehow like escaping the British authority, uh, trying to connect itself with Tibet itself. And um, this is like uh, the, the family, the royal family from here was a very smart one and the, uh, the wife, the queen actually, she was a very intelligent woman and she was the one who actually introduced the history of Sikkim and the rules and the traditions of this place. Uh, she wrote the traditions in, in Tibetan and after that they were translated in English. So this is through her, basically Sikkim got to be known worldwide. And um, the history of this place, the, the vibe, the school here and all the children carrying on the tradition, they are doing an amazing job. Everything feels so peaceful and here and serene and we're absolutely loving it. Guys, we totally recommend this place. The monastery is really, really impressive. The thing that I like about this place is the fact that there are a lot of kids and puppies and monkeys and birds and insects and basically everything and somehow in this uh, amalgamy of living beings everybody is peaceful with everybody and nobody's yelling nobody's making loud noises everybody's having a peace and quiet time at the monastery which is amazing and it makes you feel a little bit more calm and relaxed inside as well Did you come with me? I want to show you something. I want to see your reaction. Okay. It's here behind this building of the monastery. Check out this place. Oh wow. Oh wow. Yep. Oh, the monkeys. Oh, the monkeys. You can scare yes. the monkeys. I can see the monkeys. Interceptors. Yes. Do you see the rice fields? 
Oh, be careful. Monkey. It's not rice fields, GG. It's uh, tea plantations. Hey! And they're jumping. Yeah. Hello, monkey. Just please don't take my camera, okay? Another one. Do you hear them coming? Yes, I see them coming. And jump. And jump. Come on. Jump. Push. Hello, monkeys. Oh, you're scratching your thingy. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Gigi, what do you think about this road coming all the way, spiraling up? What? Is this a parking lot or something for the monastery? I don't know, but I know that I wanted to come on this side of the road. And I asked the lady because I saw on the map there was a spiraling way up. And I asked the lady, where should, which way should I go? <clears throat> and she told me the other way around. So I came this way. But apparently, this is also a valid way of coming up. <laughs> yeah, that would have been interesting. But the gate is beautiful though. See, and there's a monkey there on the... There are a lot of monkeys. On the road. Oh, there's one of them that wants to jump back in. Here, let's go, let's go. Because they're... Come on, they're cute monkeys. They're very cute, but you don't know how to... <laughs> Yes, you don't know what they can do. Now we're in, somehow in the courtyard of the Secretariat building where the Chief Minister is staying, living, working, I don't know. And surprisingly they let us just come inside and walk around the building. As long as we don't go inside the building, it should be good. That's nice. Yeah, I think we have to go that way around so that we can go down yes that's basically that was our point we wanted to find a way to get down quicker so that we don't have to take the long road and all those stairs that Gigi loves so much down even though I think Gigi has a, a love and hate relationship with stairs because she loves going downstairs but she hates going upstairs like everyone who loves stairs like just I don't mind them. I mean, they're stairs. You go up and you go down. That's the purpose of them in life. Uh, but from what can I see, this building is very, very, very huge. It's bigger than the other buildings around here. And it has also the traditional Tibetan motif on the entryway. Sikhimese, yes. I don't know, I would rather say Buddhist Tibetan because yeah. even on the fence, if you see, there is the uh, knot, the Tibetan knot, the unbroken knot, which is symbolizing the um, rebirth. rebirth of the life and the endless cycle. Okay, no more uh, talking and filming around here because there are cars coming and I might get run over. And we don't want that. You guys want me to show you more interesting things and not get run over by a car in Gangtok near the Secretariat building. <laughs> but on the right side, if somebody would run me over near the Secretariat building, there would be a lot of governmental people who would see this and I would receive help very, very, very quick. <laughs> yes, that's one way of looking at it. So, enough rambling. Let's get down from here and continue our experience in this wonderful city wonderful, of Gangtok. Wonderful city of Gangtok. Guys, if you want to come here, if you want if you're thinking of coming to Sikkim and you haven't done it so far, uh, you can go to Darjeeling as well, but don't plan I, I mean go to Darjeeling, plan the days. But Sikkim it's an area in itself and I didn't know that. And you need at least a few weeks to explore everything around because you have trails, you have a lot of things, you have lakes, you have mountains, you have yes. people like 
living in the villages and animals and a way and, and customs and there are, there's months of exploration in, in this side of the world and it's a big place yes basically we're only scratching the surface right now we're just going into the Gangtok but the days that are fo the following days we're planning to venture a little bit outside and let's see how that will go because there are some areas which are somewhat restricted for foreigners you require some additional permissions but let's see if we can manage that and the following days show you a little bit more about this wonderful place who used to be a country at some point by the way Gigi honest answer did you know until now that Sikkim was a country? Until I came um, to from Darjeeling uh, to Darjeeling, I had no idea. Uh, me too. I had no idea. I just thought that Sikkim was just a like an island of Buddhists in a sea of Hindus, but I had no idea that it actually was a country by itself till 1976, I presume. 67. When, six, 76 when they got, uh, when they joined India when India took it over as part of their own and made it a region or a state yes nevertheless okay let's go let's continue our journey and see where the road takes us so uh, we have an option to go down on the road or we have an option to take this wonderful ropeway service and obviously because this one's faster it only takes like five or six minutes till down we take this one. Oh, that's very cool. dangerous side very 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 dangerous <laughs> Wow. And we are going home. We are. Oh my god. Your side is better. Okay. Don't move. Yeah, okay. Check out this side, guys. This view. No, oh, don't move, Michael. I will very, not move. Very dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> it's 24 capacity, Abby. 4 capacity Four. max? 24 max. Ah, 24. No, yes. I think we're good. Yes, <laughs> we have 20 less. I ate, I had a lot of uh, tea, uh, moes and uh, alu thingy, so I might be too now. <laughs> So Gigi, we made it down. How did you like the ride with the cable car? We were with two other people inside the car and they got a bit nervous. 
but for me it was a bit anticlimactic but you get a pretty view of the city yeah you get a good view of the city maybe these guys it was the first time that they ever been with a cable car but in our case because we have a ski resort when we go in the winter for skiing and snowboarding we are kind of used to going on ropes but it was kind of funny the uh, cable car manager that the cable car mechanic he was like please don't move very very dangerous very very dangerous and the girl in the corner was like no oh, I will not move I will not move not for my life <laughs> we're headed towards the Institute of Tibetology and now maybe we're gonna find out some things we never knew about Tibet and uh, definitely some things that are new to us from this region from Sikkim because there are so many different ethnicities and so many different um, peoples living here and I'm very curious to see like what we can find out on our walking tour through Sikkim and through Gangtok we found this car which is a duster and most of you probably know it as a Renault as a French car but actually this car is Romanian and the car brand is actually called Dacia and it was designed by the Romanian people made by the Romanian people the French only helped us out with uh, developing a better engine and improving the car but because it was sold outside of the European Union, it was labeled as Renault. So this is a small piece of Romania in Sikkim. And through the miracle of time, like literally just walking a few steps, uh, we made it here to the Rural uh, Monastery and to the Nam Gyal Institute of Tibetology. We got the tickets. It's really pretty. It's really peaceful like all the temples and like all the sightseeing spots here in Sikkim and it smells so nicely it smells like juniper and incense and all the good things and smoke, like wood smoke somehow that smells so, so beautiful Who likes am I getting too weird guys? like let me know because this place like really affects you <laughs> in all sorts of ways Ooh, we went inside the Institute of Tibetology, which is basically this old monastery that has now been turned into a museum. And it's very nice inside. You have a lot of artifacts and a lot of relics that were gathered by the people of this place and that were also donated by the Dalai Lama. And this whole complex was built uh, in 1957. And the Dalai Lama, he came and he put the cornerstone here. And in 1958, the first Prime Minister of India, he came and he inaugurated this wonderful building. And inside you have all the artifacts and a lot of scrolls from back in the day, depicting the life of Buddha, depicting his teachings, depicting his uh, disciples, including some vessels made out of a skull and some trumpets made out of human bones. I don't know. It's, it's an interesting story and it's an interesting way. I learned something that I had no idea about. Found out also how the, um, uh, there was a guru, I forgot his name. He came over the mountains from uh, Tibet to Sikkim and he started teaching to the people around here the ways of the Buddha. And this is how basically the first king of uh, Sikkim was Pointed by, I should say, by the three uh, monks who were following the teachings of the Guru. There are a lot of more interesting stories that are inside, but uh, if I tell you all of them, that means that it will take at least half an hour. And why would I tell you all those stories? You can come here and you can check them out for yourselves. The entry fee is only 20 rupees, so what are you really missing? You just come inside and learn the way of the Buddha, and the story of his life and how the Buddhism came from Tibet all the way here to Sikkim which was a country before 76 What a perfect way to end the video then with a big stupa in the background Thank you guys for watching, today has been an amazing day We went through Gangtok and explored from the more modern part to the more older part of Gangtok did you like it, Eugene? I loved it and um, I hope you guys loved it as well. Yes. I felt like, I felt very peaceful and I felt like I don't want to leave this place and uh, there's a huge uh, spirituality still left untouched in this part of the world 
and uh, that I don't know it deserves to be cherished and preserved. And this is what the people here are doing. Yes, and if you look, even the sky has parted a little bit and all the clouds, and you have a small ray of shining hope over the stupa. <laughs> that being said, time to go. So see you next one, guys. Bye bye.